You know, I was actually in bed already to sleep because I have to work tomorrow. But I have some thoughts in my head. So I thought it's a good time to do a video diary to have a conversation. And suddenly I just realized that I did feel that I don't belong when I was younger because a lot of issues that I care about not all my friends feel the same way but everyone is a different individual they don't care about what I care about it didn't mean that I don't belong it just means that we're all different people we care about different things so I'm not going to force the things that I care about to their throat I'm not going to mind rape them, so I just thought YouTube is a very good outlet to, because the community is so big, you can, when you spend time to start conversation, I think there's endless possibility for you to find like-minded people to have the conversation that you want to have, so... I just realized that I was never displaced. I just need another outlet to have the conversation that I want to have. So, and you know, I was thinking about uh, when I was trying to sleep, I was thinking about was that president in Ukrainian. Zelensky, he was on the Oscar and Vanity Fair, and I suddenly remember a movie called Wake Wake the Dog by Dustin Hoffman. Don't you think it's kind of ridiculous of how the modern days warfare now is coming to Oscar and Vanity Fair, the fashion magazine? to want to stand their ground to be recognized. I just feel somehow that's kind of very fashionable. And um, I don't understand the logic. I don't feel the genuine, see they're trying to trans, transforming into the world, I personally don't understand. I was actually <clears throat> listening to Coco, Coco Lee's video message that she had with the, the Voice China contestant. She's like 22 or 23 or something. But Coco was already a legendary singer in Chinese culture and she was spending time trying to give her experience to that 20 something new singer and that is so sweet you know so touching that she loved music so much and she wants to do so much more to the younger generation I think her death just really reveals a lot of stories about her that's so inspiring of what a really meaningful life is. Just simply be a, a nice, passionate, kind, caring person to the people that you had a lot to run into. She's just such an icon in our culture these days because a lot of stories got out after she passed away. Everybody loved her, not because of how talented she was as a dancer or singer or her dedication with her music, but just simply how nice of a person she is. I'm just so inspired by her. You know, I'm really thankful that she is who, is she, who she is in this world. <laughs> 